Hello everyone, how are you? I hope you all are fine. So in this video, we will discuss about the uh, chapter climate uh, of geography. Okay, in this uh, chapter, we have to read about the climate. Okay, so let's start. In the last two chapters, you have read about the landforms and the drainage of the our country it means in last two chapter we have read about the drainage and the landforms of the our country these are the two of three basic elements that one learns about the natural environment to any area okay in this chapter you will learn about the third that is climate atmospheric condition that prevail our country why do we what ulan in december and why do we comfort uh, sorry comfortable and comfortable in uh, hot seasons in the, which type of cloth cotton and why it is hot and uncomfortable in the month may and why it is rain in june okay so this is a question that why it is rain in june and why it is comfort uncomfortable in the month of May and why it is June July. So, the answer is to all the questions can be found out by studying about the climate of India. Okay, this answer um, can be found out if we study about the climate of India. So, let's start the chapter that is climate. So, here the first term is given that climate refers to. Climate refers to the sum of total weather. Okay, climate refers to sum of total weather's condition and variation over a large period of time. Okay, if any uh, condition, a weather condition is uh, there for a long, large period, long period of time, or then more than thirty years, then it is called what climate. And the thing that uh, is any area at a point of time okay if it means you can say it can be changed within a month or year okay so a very any point of time okay that is called weather weather refers to the state of atmosphere over an area at a point of time the elements of weather and climate are the same that is temperature atmosphere pressure wind but the elements are same of both okay that is the uh, first one is the uh, temperature atmospheric pressure wind humidity and precipitation okay you may have observed that the weather condition fluctuate very often uh, even within a day it means we observe that the weather condition is uh, fluctuate uh, very often even within a day okay but there is some common pattern over a few week month okay if uh, one week is there is a monsoon then another week uh, may or may not be rain okay that is the day are cool or hot windy or calm cloudy or bright and wet or dry okay these are the uh, these are the some patterns that the things can happen okay on the basis of generalized monthly atmospheric condition the year is divided into seasons okay as a winter as a summer or as a rainy the world is divided into a number of climate region okay in world there is a number of climate regions do you know what type of climate india has and why it is so we will learn about it in this chapter okay in this chapter we will learn about the climate of india and why it is so so here is the first one is given that do you know that the word monsoon is uh, derived from the Arabic word that is monsoon which literally means season okay monsoon refers to the seasonal reversal that in the wind direction during a year now here The climate of India is described as the monsoon type. It means the uh, climate of only uh, uh, here is we are talking about India. Okay, so 
Here, the climate of India is described as the monsoon type. In Asia, this type of climate is found mainly in the south and southeast. Okay, but uh, uh, if we talk about the world river that is in Asia, in Asia that uh, uh, it is found mainly in the southeast and south. Uh, sorry, in the south and southeast. In the south and where is south here? In this side. And despite an overall unity in the general pattern, there are perceptible uh, regional variations in climatic condition within the country. It means there is a uh, some regional variation in the climatic condition within the country. Country, it means uh, we are talking about the um, Condition within yes in India okay. Let us take two important elements: temperature and precipitation, and examine how they vary from place to place and season to season. It means we have we are taking the two elements that is precipitation and temperature, and see where how it is vary from place to place and season to season. Let's see in summer. In summer, the mercury occasionally. Which is 50 degrees in some parts of Rajasthan. Okay, uh, we are talking about the Rajasthan. Uh, when we talking about the Rajasthan, there is a which is 50 degrees of temperature. Okay, sorry, 50 degrees Celsius in the some part of the in which Rajasthan desert. Okay, Rajasthan desert. Whereas it may be around 20 degrees in Palgam in Jammu Kashmir. Okay, it means here is a 20 degrees in Palgam. The place name is Palgam. It is located in Jammu Kashmir. On winter, on a winter night, the temperature at the Dras in Jammu Kashmir may be low as a minus. Here is the minus. It means you can think about uh, how much cold will be there. That is minus 45 degrees C and now degree Celsius and now Tiruvannathpuram on the other hand may have the temperature 22 degree Celsius. Okay. And now here in certain places there is a wide difference between day and night temperature. In the third desert the temperature may rise to 50 degrees C. Uh, in the third desert uh, there is a uh, mostly sand okay in the desert there are mostly sand so sand absorb uh, more heat and in the night they cool down you can say easily okay and fastly so the difference between day and night in third desert that in the day the temperature may be rise to 50 degrees and in the drop down near to 50 degrees the same night okay on the other hand, there is a hardly any difference in the day and night that is temperature in Andaman Island and Nicobar, sorry, Andaman and Nicobar Island or in Kerala. Okay, there is also difference in the these uh, we can say uh, island and this state in Kerala. Let us now look at the precipitation that there is a variation not only in the form of type, form and type precipitation, but also in its amount and the seasonal uh, distribution it means let let us let us now add the precipitation it means we are talking about the precipitation that is there are variation not only in the form of type also in the amount of and the seasonal distribution okay so while the precipitation is mostly in the form of snowfalls in the upper part it means snowfall we all know that uh, in the Jammu Kashmir there is uh, in some area there is snowfall and where upper part of Himalayas it rains over the rest of the country but the annual precipitation varies from over 400 centimeter to in uh, sorry 400 centimeter in Meghalaya to less than 10 cm in Ladakh and Western Rajasthan. It means um, mostly in the Western Rajasthan there is less than 10 cm. Okay. And also in Ladakh. And most part of the country receive rainfall from the June to September. September. Is, uh, <coughs> it means 
most of the rest of the uh, country that receives from june to july sorry june to uh, june to september but some part like tamil nadu coast gets a large portion of its rain during october and november it means in the month of october and november there is a large uh, large amount of rainfall get in the tamil nadu fall uh, rain during the october and november in the state of tamil nadu in general coastal area experiences less contrast in the in temperature conditions seasonal contrast are more in the interior of the country it means in generally coastal and uh, coastal areas expression the contrast in temperature condition and but the seasonal constant are more than in the interior the of the country okay so there is a decrease in rainfall generally from the east to uh, west in the northern place it means uh, <coughs> in the northern place there is a less rainfall okay In which area from east to west and in the northern plains uh, these uh, variation have given rise to variety in the lives of people in terms of food they eat uh, the clothes they wear and also the kinds of houses they live in it means uh, it changes the variety also that is uh, the clothes they wear uh, that uh, in the summer they they wear uh, cotton clothes and in the in winter they wear uh, what we can say uh, Woolen clothes and uh, also that there are changes in the in, in food. That is uh, in the we can say in the winter there are many plants are available and uh, in summer there are also many variety of that you can take the example of lady finger that lady finger is only is in summer okay not we can get in winter and here now it is a climatic control okay so let's start there are six major control of the climate of uh, any places okay if we talk about any place there is a six major control of a cli climate okay of any place okay there are latitude altitude pressure and wind system distance from the sea uh, ocean currents and the relief features it means these are the major controls of any place okay but if we talk about india there is only latitude altitude pressure and wind and uh, only three types of climatic controls in india okay so If we talk about any place, there is a latitude, altitude, pressure, wind, system, distance from the sea, and also ocean current and relief feature. Due to curvature of the earth, the amount of solar energy received varies according to latitude. It means due to curvature of the earth, the amount of uh, sorry, the amount of solar energy received varies according to their latitude, and as a result, air temperature generally decreases from the equator towards the pole. It means generally air temperature is decreases towards the pole as one goes from the surface of the earth and the higher altitude and the atmosphere becomes less dense and temperature decreases okay so the hills are therefore cooler during summer that's why the hills are uh, cooler during summer the pressure and wind system of any area depend on the latitude and altitude of the place okay if uh, pressure and uh, wind are uh, generally depend on latitude and altitude of any place okay So thus it influences the temperature and rainfall pattern. The sea exerts a moderating influences on climate. It means if the there is a temperature and rainfall pattern, then then the sea exerts a moderating uh, influences on climate. Influences influence on climate as the distance from the sea increases, its moderating influence decreases, and the people experience extreme weather condition. This condition is known as continentally. continentality that is also called the uh, distance from the sea okay that is very hot in summer and very cold in winter so now is ocean currents along with the one so wind 
affect the climate the coastal areas it means the ocean current affect the climate of coastal area for example any coastal area with the warm or cold current flowing past it it will be warmed or cooled if the wind are one so okay finally relief to play a major role in determining the climate of a place it means there is a relief to play a major role to determine any place any uh, any climate of a place okay high max high mountains acts as barrier for a cold and hot winds okay and also the mountains are the barriers for hot and cold winds they may also cause precipitation if they are high enough and lie in the path of rain bearing winds if they are also cause precipitation if they are uh, high and enough and lie on the path rain bearing winds the what side of mountain remains uh, relatively dry it means the rear side of the mountain are remains relatively dry okay so these are the about the now it is about the india's climate so we will we will start this topic in the next video okay so i think you understand uh, whatever i have taught in this video okay so that's all for today thank you have a nice day